Big announcement this week from Microsoft. Their Milan project, which apparently they've been working on for over five years, has finally been released into the wild, or at least almost. They kind of released to the press. Check out the video. Let's get a close-up on this video that uh, we've got running right here. And we have one of their marketing people, actually, demoing the system. So what you're looking at here, he's going to take a picture with his camera. And the idea is that he's going to set it down on this sort of coffee table PC monitor below him. And what you're watching there is it registers a device, right? It looks for the Wi-Fi connection, accesses it, and downloaded that fabulous picture on it. I got to lose weight and really stop smiling like that. But the idea is that you've got a touchscreen-like interface. Except this is not a touchscreen. It is a hard screen. It is a difficult to damage screen because they're going to roll these out initially in places like malls or, uh, you know, cell phone stores. You'll see a T-Mobile thing coming up in a second. But the idea is that multiple people are going to be able to access this at the same time. This is an interesting idea. He set a cell phone down here on here, and it actually is allowing him to compare the different models, uh, what's available to configure it, to configure your relationships with your friends on the system like that, to, to pour a really simple touchscreen environment. Now, there's basically a projector projecting up below that screen, and my understanding is five cameras that detect your physical contact with the screen. So as you drag and drop things, uh, move them around, and you actually don't have to. There's no sort of special device associated with this. But what's interesting with that, what you can do, it's like, okay, this is like a hotel promotion. You're going to do a scratch and win at Caesars. Um, and then the idea that, you know, somewhere inside of the Caesars facility, you're going to be able to sit down and get an idea. You'll open it up. You'll look at nightclubs. Obviously, these are ideas of how they want to market this. I want to know what I can get it into my home because the really cool idea is to be able to look at your pictures on this, browse the web, move around. Um, Elton John, the red piano. Now, you notice that this is not, there's no digitizing device in this. What it basically does is, is registering um, the actual brush movement on the screen to allow you to detect that. Does it look like a touch screen? Yeah, it's looked like a demo from a guy named Dr. Han from a, 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 a demo last year. Yeah, but it's using a different technology behind it. The little buttons you just saw pressed down there actually were coded devices, and when you sort of press these sort of, they have a little chip inside of them, it registers it and reacts to it. But this is, I think, is the coolest thing is watch is like multiple people reach out here and you can actually have multiple people working on the same desktop simultaneously and it's just a really f interesting new way to work with computing you can say you've seen this in minority report people have certainly proposed the ideas for years and years and years uh, you know as soon as people start working with the GUI I think the next step is to make it touchable and actable um, it's a pretty neat concept initially it's going to be rolled out uh, in T-Mobile stores in malls in uh, uh, the, you know, apparently in Caesar's Palace, you saw the, the stuff for there. Um, going to be interesting. We're having some links on the website, some video. I uh, want to thank Robert uh, for passing uh, that video along to us. Um, that was a demo from last year. Very similar technology. It's being developed by an NYU professor. You can take a look at the two and look at the demos and see what's kind of similar or different about them. But this is kind of neat. Service computing is what Microsoft's calling it. It's kind of a next category of interacting with the content on your PC. I like it. I want to see it actually in the wild. Cool. If you like the video you just saw, you can find lots more at www.dl.tv.